11 Traditional and Classic Korean Dishes A typical Korean meal consists of a bowl of rice, a bowl of soup or stew, and some side dishes as accompaniments. But within that basic structure, there is a deliciously wide variation of dishes for every season and palate. Koreans use a huge range of vegetables from wild greens to the leaves of flowers, everything from the sea including seaweed and jellyfish, and all types of meat and poultry in diverse preparations. Koreans may have numerous ways to pickle vegetables and wild greens for long storage, but they also prize raw fish and raw meat dishes. These are some of the classic plates you will find in Korean kitchens all over the world, in restaurants and homes, special events and family gatherings, and in everyday life. Don't leave Korea without trying. 1. Classic Korean Pibimbap. Korean Pibimbap looks gorgeous on the plate. It is also one easily tweaked for more or less spice for different palates. This recipe uses six vegetables, but you can use whatever you have in your refrigerator or garden. Koreans usually eat this rice dish with beef, but can also top the bimbap with a fried egg. 2. Pulgogi, Korean Beef Barbecue. Pulgachi is probably the most popular Korean dish, with thinly sliced meat that has a smoky sweet flavor. You can enjoy it broiled, grilled, or stir-fried. The beef is usually accompanied with lettuce wraps and gochujang, spicy red pepper paste, for wrapping and spicing up the meat. 3. Mandu, Korean Dumplings. Mandu is a symbol of good luck when prepared as part of Korean Lunar New Year festivities. These Korean dumplings can be added to a beef broth or anchovy broth for a dish called mandu guk, and served with tiok mandu guk, a traditional cylindrical rice cake. This Korean dumpling recipe is made with ground beef or pork, but you will see them made with chicken or only vegetables. You can prepare them in advance and freeze them for future use. 4. Chapche, Stir-Fried Korean Noodles. Chapche is one of the most popular noodle dishes in Korea. The glass noodles are made from mung bean or sweet potatoes, and they become translucent when cooked. You can enjoy this dish cold or hot and as an appetizer or main dish. 5. Pusam, Korean Pork Belly. Pusam are deeply savory Korean pork belly lettuce wraps that walk a fine line between a light meal and an indulgent feast. Serve them family style so diners can assemble their own wraps according to their tastes. 6. Samgye Tang, Korean Stuffed Chicken Soup with Ginseng. Korean stuffed chicken soup is easy to make and follows the seeming universal culinary rule of thumb that it's consumed as a restorative when you are sick. But it is especially used to fight heat with heat in the summer, as the ginseng and ginger will make you sweat. 7. Kimchi Chige, Spicy Kimchi Stew. This spicy kimchi stew recipe is a great use for leftover or older kimchi. In fact, the older the kimchi, the better it is in this stew, as it adds rich flavor. It's one of the most popular stews in Korea, and you'll find it in many traditional restaurants. It is served hot and you're guaranteed to break a sweat when eating it. 8. Salong Tang, Korean Ox Bone Soup. Ox Bone Soup is an easy recipe, but it's one that you will simmer all day. Simmering the leg bones for several hours results in a milky white rich and meaty soup with garlic, ginger, and noodles. 9. Galbi Tang, Short Rib Soup. This rich but delicate short rib soup most likely originated more than 800 years ago, during the waning days of the Goryeo dynasty. It is commonly served at traditional Korean wedding receptions, as beef was a luxury item reserved for special occasions. 10. Kogi Kimchi, Spicy Pickled Cabbage. Kimchi is one of the most distinctive parts of Korean cuisine, and the pickled and fermented vegetables are eaten at almost every meal. There are hundreds of different kinds of kimchi that are both spicy and mild, and different regions in Korea have their own kimchi specialties. This pickled and fermented Napa cabbage is the most popular and recognizable form of kimchi. 11. Dongchimi, Korean White Radish. This is a white water summer kimchi, one that is vinegary rather than spicy. It's simple to make with a few days of brining, and it will keep for a long time in the refrigerator. You'll enjoy it as a side dish or a cold soup, 